Hey, what's going on guys? Today I want to talk about a by chance in-person experience I had with somebody that I, I have known of for many, many years, but never had the opportunity to meet them face to face. And that actually happened a couple days ago. Let me set the, let me set the scene. If you know anything about Venice Beach and the street performers there of the last 20, 30, or 40 years, you'll know, not necessarily by name, but by description, who Harry Perry is. Harry Perry is a street musician that is primarily known for his work on Venice Beach. He's a staple um, street performer there, has been there since, I understand, from 1973 to present day. He is most likely, he is most widely recognized by his white turban, white outfit, electric guitar with a bullseye. He carries an amplifier on his waist and he usually wears rollerblades of some sort. It used to be skates. And Mr. Perry has been in numerous TV shows, movies, music videos. He even had a recurring role on Heroes. I just found out, I did not know that. And if you still don't know who I'm talking about, I'll show you a quick picture of him. That's Mr. Perry right there. Very identifiable street musician from Venice Beach, primarily. Fast forward, I first saw Mr. Perry, I believe uh, around 1992. I was vacationing, short vacation. Um, in Southern California was at Venice Beach and I believe I saw him up and down the boardwalk playing his guitar didn't really register that he was who he was and um, the first picture I got of Mr. Perry was uh, I think 1996 I was out there with my wife at the time on Venice Beach and I recognized him from being in music videos and, and TV um, TV and movie appearances, so I got his picture, but never thought in a million years that I would actually meet him one-on-one -on -one, um, and have any interaction with him. So fast forward to a couple of days ago, I'm in Colorado in the Denver area. I have a part-time job where I work for a parking company and traffic directing, things like that. Um, and I was working at the Fish concert. Fish is a, a concert festival, sort of, where they have their fans migrate from city to city and they follow this band and they set up a, a, a small little city kind of a, a place for commerce where they, um, it's called a Shakedown Street, where they, people sell their wares, their t-shirts, their jewelry, food, alcohol, whatever. And we're kind of making sure everybody's following the rules and yada, 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 and everything. For the most part, fish fans are very polite, very nice people. I've never really had a problem with them two years in a row. Really nice people. Always say thank you, how you doing, this and that. But that's beside the point. I'm walking around Shakedown Street, and I look over, and I see Harry Perry. And I had to take a do a double take because this is a fish concert and I haven't seen any performers in Shakedown Street up until that point. And I look at him again and sure enough it's him. He's got the white turban, the white outfit, his characteristic um, electric guitar with the bullseye on it. And I think it's the same guitar he's had all these years because it is just beat from years and years of playing the same guitar. So I kind of stand back and I take a selfie and my son works with us also, and I go and talk to him. We went to California two years ago and to Los Angeles, and I didn't realize that he had seen him also. I, I explained who this person was. I'm like, you remember the guy with the, the, the turban, the electric guitar, the rollerblades? He's like, yeah, yeah, we saw him like two years ago. And I had forgot about that, so we went back, and he actually took a selfie with Mr. Perry. And um, he's like, if you want to support me, you know, buy one of my shirts. My son didn't have any money. And he's like, how much is it? And he's like, $20. And I have a $20 bill in my pocket that I've kept for a while waiting for a special purchase. And I'm glad I did because I bought one of his shirts right there with Mr. Perry in the artwork, blended into the um, 
background there, which was very cool. Then he handed me a CD and he says, you have the CD for any um, amount of donation, whatever you can afford. I told him, I just gave you my only $20 for the t-shirt. And he's like, go ahead, take the CD, um, it's yours. So I, I uh, took the CD, I thanked him, I shook his hand, and that was pretty much it. It was um, a very random in-person experience that I um, I appreciated very much. Mr. Perry is not world um, f worldwide famous, but he's very well known. Um, and like I said, he's um, a staple of the Venice Beach Boardwalk area for the last 40 years plus. And he's got a very characteristic um, outfit, and he's easily recognizable. That's pretty much the outfit he wears all the time. And the guitar he has, that bullseye electric guitar there. And what kind of struck me is, as well known as Mr. Perry is, um, at least to me, and um, maybe he had just gotten there at Shakedown Street, but people were just passing him by. He was over there just jamming on his guitar like this, kind of doing his own little thing, and people didn't really pay any attention. They just kind of looked at him and kept walking by, and I'm like, are you kidding me? This guy's pretty famous, and you're just passing him by. So that kind of struck me. But um, I haven't opened the CD yet, so let's check it out. It seems like there's a fold in here where there might be some more information. Yeah, I actually have a couple pictures of Mr. Perry. Uh, very cool. Here's the inside. Some uh, artistic photo right there. And his Kama Cosmic Crusader um, brand right there. I don't know if it's a brand or whatever, but kind of strikes me. And it's on his t-shirt also. It's on the bottom of his t-shirt here. Kama Cosmic Crusader. And just the initials for the three words kind of kind of strike me as odd, but that's beside the point. Let's check out the um, inside of the CD. Cool. Some more, uh, it's the other people in his band, that first picture, and him in his characteristic white outfit, turban, electric guitar, rollerblades. So very, very cool. I'm going to play this CD, check it out. I've never really heard him play a full complete song before he's usually up and down the Venice Beach um, boardwalk just jamming out and by the time I start to hear the music he's already passed and I've never really heard him play a full song and this has 10 songs on it the CD has 10 songs on it so that should be pretty cool to listen to I mean he's got to be pretty good I man he's been practicing up and down the beach for 40 years so I think he's got his shit together and um I'm sure it's going to be a, a decent CD to listen to. So, yeah, Harry Perry in person, very impromptu, unexpected in person um, experience. I did not ask him for his autograph, but I do have a selfie with him, sort of, kind of. I did it from a distance. He wasn't really seeing. I just did that with the phone. My son does have a a selfie with him, and I'm not totally disappointed. I do collect autographs, but just to meet him, kind of shake his hand. And I asked him, what, what, what got you off the beach? What brought you here? He's like, fish, man, fish. So I thought that was pretty funny. It was like a no-brainer. I mean, he's there with the fish concert, more or less. And um, yeah, so that's it. My, uh, my in-person, personal, um, in-person, personal, one-on-one um, -on -one experience with Mr. Harry Perry, street performer from Venice Beach, California. So yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll be back again soon with another video. Later.